This shocked me, actually. 67% of calories kids eat come from ultra-processed foods. That's two-thirds of all the calories that they consume. That is mind-blowing. So what is an ultra-processed calorie? Well, it's the industrial grains, all the processed grain products you see in the grocery store. We have the sweet snacks, the ready-to-eat and the ready-to-heat foods, uh, foods high in added sugar, foods with trans fats, refined starches like modified food starch, for example. Now, most of these foods are very, very high in carbohydrates, but without very many nutrients. So you have the situation where you have high oxidation. That's like rusting out the inside of the body without any antioxidants that are supposed to protect all this free radical damage. So this is where the heart disease comes in and the artery. Uh, this is where you can be at risk for getting cancer and especially diabetes. Now, the problem with diabetes is that um, normally you're going to have high insulin, which the doctors are never going to check, for probably 20 years or 25 years before the blood sugars even go up. So diabetes takes a long time to develop. And when you're developing this condition, a lot of times you don't even know <laughs> it's brewing in the oven until it's in the later stages. Now, most of these calories are not eaten at home. It's out of the house, fast food restaurants, that type of thing. And the problem is when these kids eat these foods, they're just never satisfied. So they keep eating them over and over and over because they're highly addictive. Now, this study involved um, age group between 2 and 19 years old uh, from 1999 to 2018 involving 33,000 participants. Now, in 1999, when they started the study, uh, the ultra-processed calories encompassed 61% of the calories, but in 2018, it's 67% of their calories, so it went up a bit. So, ultra-processed would be the soft drinks, the chips, the chocolate, the candy, the ice cream, the sweetened breakfast cereals, which, by the way, are the most common things that kids consume. Then we have packaged soups, chicken nuggets, very popular, hot dogs, fries. Listen, if your kids are consuming this, they need to get on the ketogenic diet. There are so many wonderful desserts and foods that mimic some of these foods. Uh, they're not identical, they're similar. So I would definitely get your kids involved. This is a train wreck waiting to happen. When you have two thirds of our children eating these foods, so really, it's up to you and me to spread the word and uh, get these kids on a healthy version of the ketogenic diet. I also put a link down below of some really good desserts that I think that your kids will like that don't have any sugar in them. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.